Congressman who watched the video in questions today, New York Republican uh, Peter King joins me and California Democrat a Adam Schiff. Schiff. Congressman King, you were in that briefing today. You saw the surveillance, the drone video recovered from the Benghazi compound. Is there anything about what you saw today that changes your assessment of the situation? Because you've been a tough critic of the administration. Yeah, it, again, not really the video. I didn't see much controversial about the video. Maybe Adam will disagree. I, I thought it was uh, objective. I don't think it really answered the questions either side would have had. Uh, my objection was that contrary to what Dana said, the Democrats were saying, or one Democrat said, I try not to make it partisan, is that I don't believe that the talking points that were given to Susan Rice contained all the intelligence that the intelligence community had. Without going into detail, there were several reports clearly stating that Al-Qaeda affiliated groups were involved in the attack and were very heavily involved in the attack, and that did not make it in to the talking points. It did not make it into the final talking points that were given to Congress or to Susan Rice, even though they were in the original talking points. So that's a real issue as to why that was taken out. And uh, I just feel that uh, there were still many unanswered questions as to who actually f put the final uh, version of, of the talking points together. That so, was not answered today. So, Congressman King, you've been tough on, on Susan Rice based on the fact that right. she went out on TV and what she said. But tonight it sounds like you're saying she, she wasn't given all the information that did exist within the intelligence community. We've just heard also Barbara Starr reporting that tomorrow Petraeus is going to say he felt it was a terror attack from the get-go, but there were other strains of intelligence. So are, is your problem less with what Susan, uh, with Susan Rice and what she said and more with the information she was given? Because the DNI basically put out the statement at the end of October saying the information Susan Rice talks about is what we put out, is what the intelligence community well, that's not put true. out. That's not true. Today they said that uh, their talking points were not the ones that were given to Susan Rice. Now somebody, it appears maybe the White House or the National Security Council, changed those talking points. So okay. it's the administration does have the responsibility on that. So you're again, saying it's not her fault, it's more the well, fault of well, the information she was given. Well, yeah, but the information prepared by the, uh, appears by the White House, the intelligence community and their original talking points had in there about the Al-Qaeda affiliation. That was taken out after it left the intelligence community. Okay. So it appears that somebody in the White House did that. Okay, interesting. Congressman Schiff, uh, what was your interpretation about what you heard today? Well, I think we have the most comprehensive uh, chronology of what took place at Benghazi. I think it really shed a lot of light, uh, minute by minute, hour by hour, what took place. And, uh, and it convinced me that there was no effort to politicize the information we, be, we were being given. Uh, it also convinced me uh, on the point involving our United Nations ambassador that uh, she was given the same early assessment that we were, the same ultimately un inaccurate assessment. Uh, so for those uh, lawmakers that have been attacking her, uh, I think it's completely unjustified. Uh, we had a unclassified uh, summary, uh, as the ambassador did. Uh, that summary said that it looked like a spontaneous protest, that extremists hijacked, uh, that there were indications that there were extremists involved in that. Well, that's precisely what the ambassador said. So I think it was really quite a vindication of the ambassador. But more than that, I think uh, it answered a lot of the questions about the chronology. Uh, it still, though, Anderson, left open questions about why the intelligence community got it uh, so wrong uh, initially. Uh, and they did spend a lot of time going over that today. I don't think it was uh, deliberate or malicious in any way. But we do have remaining questions to get at, at why better information didn't come up more quickly. Do you make the distinction that, that Congress, uh, Congressman Schiff, do you make the distinction that Congressman King just did that, that, some of the, that there were different strains of intelligence that some of the intelligence community had and put out, but that the talking points Ambassador Rice got did not reflect that? Well, there were conflicting strains in the intelligence. Indeed, uh, in different iterations of the assessments we got, uh, it characterized the events in Benghazi differently, uh, some very slight, some more substantive differences. So I think uh, what the ambassador said was clearly consistent with what they told us at the very same time. And we were given a brief uh, literally uh, some hours before the ambassador. Uh, we were given a, a briefing statement uh, in the late afternoon of Saturday, she appeared on those shows Sunday, show Sunday morning. Uh, it was very consistent with what we were told, and they told us this is our best assessment. So I can hardly fault someone for, for going forward with what the intelligence community is saying. Had the ambassador gone forward with something different than what the intelligence committee said was their best assessment, Anderson. then then she would have been open uh, up to criticism. Okay, Congressman King? Yeah, the intelligence community said that Al-Qaeda was involved. That was taken out by someone in the White House. The intelligence community did give an accurate estimate. Saying, but that's not what the DNI said, right? 
I mean, the DNI well, said later on, I'm telling you what he said, told us today. And I'm telling you what was their reporting on the 12th, 13th, and 15th. There were intelligence estimates saying Al-Qaeda was directly involved. Al-Qaeda affiliates were directly involved. Somehow, after that was prepared by the intelligence community, that was taken out after it went to the White House. And that is a very serious issue. Also, General Petraeus, I have a great regard for General Petraeus. And when he briefed us that morning, he made it clear that he did not think this was a terrorist attack. So he's like, I, again, I have a great regard, but he's sort of rewriting history here. He down, totally downplayed the terrorist aspect, including Ansar al-Sharia, who he said there were some people in the crowd from Ansar al-Sharia. He never said that they were involved in the attack as a group. So, Cong yes, Congress, I need, I, need to, Anderson, I need to correct the record here. I don't think there was any indication that the White House ordered anything taken out of the intelligence assessment. So what, what they said was, when it, when, uh, uh, Peter, when I, I, don't think that's, I don't think that's accurate. Now, there were... Well, there were assessments that ga that were given no. to us, some of which were more... No, which no, one, more sorry, one at a time. Congressman Schiff, continue. Yeah. We had a, a variety of assessments, and indeed we've got now a full binder of the raw intelligence data that we have gone through. Uh, some that make specific mention of who they think might be involved and others that don't. But there's been no indication that the White House uh, somehow ordered or deleted uh, specifics from our intelligence assessment or said we can't go into this or tried to shape it or politicize it. I just don't think that's consistent at all with what we've been informed. Congressman King? The talking points were prepared by the intelligence community that were prepared for that weekend, for Ambassador Rice and others, said that there was Al Qaeda, uh, there was direct Al Qaeda involvement in the attacks. When the final talking points were printed, after they left the intelligence community, that was taken out of the talking points. And when we asked where did it go, it went to the National Security Council, and that was taken out. N nobody from the intelligence community could tell who outside of their community took it out. All they know is that after it left them, somebody changed it. And the so, only other people that had access to it were the White House. And I, I'm at a disadvantage because I obviously have not seen the same documents you have. But Congressman Schiff, that's not your understanding of the documents you saw. No, that's not my understanding. And if you look at the, the uh, summary we were given that could be publicly revealed, uh, they didn't choose to make reference to the specific terrorist organizations that were involved in. Uh, that's probably not the level of detail they wanted us to discuss publicly. But the suggestion that somehow that this was uh, orchestrated by the White House or there was some political purpose behind it, uh, that is completely inconsistent with what's been presented to us. All right. Not at all. Not at all. Obviously, two very different perspectives. Uh, we'll learn more when Petraeus testifies tomorrow. Gentlemen, I appreciate sure. both of you uh, being on the program. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just to add the backlash over Mitt Romney's candid remarks in a conference call to donors, he said President Obama won the election because of policy gifts he gave to his, gifts that he gave to his core voters, to Latinos and others. We talked about this on the program a little bit last night. A 